Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with some more of Conway Disappearance at Delia View. And today we're going to Harold Levy's, Levy's flat, and we're going to investigate that box that he had underneath his bed. And as our, as uh, Conway said, he has left his home. Okay, well, hopefully this works. I'm not pretty sure. seems empty enough. Now to find a way into Levy's garage. Okay, so it looks like there's no one here. I'm a little worried because I don't know how he's going to be able to get in here. But let's see. I'm, I'm thinking we have to come maybe to that door. But it looks like he wants to check in the window. Oh, there's a button. Oh, I better get inside before I can get to see Isn't that convenient? And I'll say, let us sneak in here. It's like, it's so quiet, yet we're so loud because we're opening up the garage. Can't see. Is there anything we can explore here? Yeah, just the sink to kind of keep everything clean. Maybe you want to explore the vehicle? Maybe there's like a blood stain or something. Barely can get in there. Ooh. I must say the camera angle there was a little crazy. Let's go check this uh What is that smell? Damp, I think. Mold maybe? We'll find out when we go like further into his uh, building. But let me check right in over here. Toys. Why does Harold Levy have them? See if there's any like writing on the the balls or something. Doesn't look like it. Maybe he had a good relationship with their kid. You know, you never know. I don't think we, there's anything else we can see there. Let me check. There's nothing here. Nope. Okay. We're good. Let's kind of go further in here. To the door. Hopefully it's unlocked. Reception. Charlotte May Morgan poster. Nothing here that uh, Conway finds interesting. There was mail here when I looked from my window this morning. I'll say it's not really surprising that the mail's gone. I, I doubt someone would leave it that long. Mr. Levy? Is anyone home? Good. I want to make sure no one shows up. Locked from the other side. Yeah, look at that thing. There's like a pipe thing coming inside the building. Very strange. Let me see if there's anything we can do at the window. Well, there's Harold's mail. I can't get to it from this side. Damn. Okay, so it looks like we might need to go all the way around. And we need a key as well. Let me turn this bad boy around. Might need to go up the elevator. Yeah, let me make sure there's nothing kind of hidden over here. Nope, oh, it's like an invisible wall. Maybe in the box he has the key or something. Okay, so. I'm sure this is the hallway to let his flat. Let's hope he's still out. Okay, well, well, oh, there's a shower running apparently in the background. Oh yeah, that's right. Go right here. Pick it up. We know the key's hidden. Some motor oil, Humphreys, and a can. More mortal oil. 
which is typical for a mechanic. Hopefully he's not in here. He shouldn't be, but you never know. Okay, so let's go in this room, kind of see what's going on. Ooh, corned beef. And an onion. Can't go wrong with that. Wow, it looks like there might be something there. Dirty dishes. Looks like he lives alone. He does have some wine there, though. Delia View Heights, notice non-payment of rent, eviction notice, tenant of blank, Delia View Terrace. You're hereby informed that you're over however much in past due rent and late charges. You must pay the due amount by blank or you will be required to vacate your property by so on. Landlord signature. Oh. Let me take a picture of that. Note from Harold's lady friend. Every time you have a meeting with Frank, you leave me alone up here for ages. Can you at least get a new radio so that's so that I have something to do whilst I wait? Better still, you could spend a little time we have with me. What are you doing with him anyway? What was in the van the other night? You're far too secretive, you know. Girls like me need a good pampering every now and, then, and again. I think you should buy me something expensive to say sorry. There might be a woman in here. Harold Levy has a lady friend. We're going to be a little careful, I think. Okay, nothing there. And This is where I watched Harold from my window. I hope none of my neighbors are watching me. Yeah, Conway's a little peeper. Alright, but let's keep on moving. Okay, this door's probably locked, I would assume. Someone's showering. I'd better be quiet. This is uh, the McKee's uh, earring. Hmm. So he's banging the one guy's wife. Might be important. Blood. No. No. I've had to leave early. A shipment of parts has come in from down near Pinwheel, and I have to be there to load it in. Sorry about last night. I know I can lose my temper. It's not your fault. Stay for a while if you like. Just don't touch the radio. It's stuck on that channel. Keys are in the usual place. Don't let anyone see you. H. P.S. If you see me and Frank about, just keep your distance and leave us to it. Interesting. And he's going to be like, this is very expensive stuff. Blue mist. And coins. Can we kind of like see in there maybe? Hold on, there was something he could see. He must have moved the box somewhere else. Okay, so the box is not under the bed anymore. Let's kind of look at the new uh, tab here. Okay, so Harold Levy owns many properties in Delia View and is willing to use his power against people. Harold appears to be co courting a young lady. That must be who the key was left for. And here, the box I saw under the bed has been moved somewhere else. Okay, so can we go up in here? Yes, we can. But I don't think there's anything of importance here. Harold would have had a good view of Charlotte May playing in the courtyard from this balcony. I mean, I think anybody would have had a good view. The buildings kind of all look that way.
Okay, let me come back here. Maybe we can look down there. Nope. Or oh, coat hanger. Sure. Okay, so she's... Ooh. Be careful now. Okay, so we have a coat hanger. Maybe we can use it to... Let's see if I remember how to do this. Oh, I do not know how to do this. Okay, so then it has T. J. It's a little weird. I, I think they should have gave us kind of like a little like introduction on how to do this. And like I'm looking towards these like little oh still got it. All right, but we got in, so we can use the hanger to like get into anything. Okay, so another view here. Finally, time to take a look inside. All right, let's see what he has in here. So he has a whole bunch of notes. Good man. You're a good man, Levy. You got me out of a jam. I remember these things. I'll be back for the stuff soon. I'll be in touch. Frank. Man, the person writes like me. <laughs> kind of rough. Okay. Sure, we'll take the paper clip. Might make a good lock pick. Rent due per fortnight. Theodore and Annabelle McKee, zero until further notice. Because he's being an Annabelle, probably. Beverly Ridge, Robert Conway, first strike for late rent. Anthony Morgan, Simon Deering, second strike for late rent. L.B. Jeffries, Sebastian A. Paul, third strike for late rent, evicted. So we now know who might have some money issues here. I know what you've been doing. Blacktop taxi, 9.17 p.m. Blue road car with top bit removed, 12.41 a.m. Brown van, 9.31 p.m. Yellow van with wood panel, 11.52 a.m. Green motorcycle with sidecar and silver exhaust. And green motorcycle, no sidecar, black exhaust. You're a liar and a thief. Did you take Charlotte May too? You can destroy this if you like. I made copies. Yes, there's something in your office if you don't believe me. I'm curious to see what was left in his office. Oh, hold on. I wonder what that's about. We'll click all these so we can get his own in input. Vehicles Harold Levy's worked on, no doubt. Strong accusation. Good for my evidence board. It's not just me who thinks Harold could have taken Charlotte May. I wish whoever wrote this, like, signed their name on it so we would know. Okay, so we looked at this one, looked at the middle one, and we looked at the last one, so we're good there. Looks like we can't really explore anything on this side. I think we're good. Now then, let's see what's been left in Levy's office. It must have something to do with him attacking Mr. Morgan. Oh, this door, I, you know, it was kind of surprising because I didn't see the door locked. But still no movement in there. I really think it's the McKees just because, you know, they don't have to pay rent, the blue mist and all that, the earring. It's definitely her. We got to go to his office. We have something that can be used as a lock pick. So I don't think we need to be in here any longer. The note accused Harold Levy of being a liar. I need to find out what was left in his office. Get into Harold Levy's office. Perfect. 
Harold Levy attacked Tony Morgan earlier today. The threatening note proves Harold was willing to hurt him. Harold doesn't pay Theo much money, but also doesn't charge him rent. How is Theo making his money? Yeah, he's banging his wife. Unfaithful. And maybe he knows. I'm not for sure. Kind of sad for that guy, though. Let me back up. Okay, well, went up. Not this way, but over here. Go to inventory, paper clip. It's weird. It's like you have to go around clicking until you find something. And it kind of doesn't tell you like, like a certain way. It doesn't like notify you like, oh, you're kind of close. I mean, I'm kind of trying to hear here and I don't really hear anything. At least we're getting through. That's all that matters. There's Levy's office. It looks like he's still out of the building. Alrighty. Well, we definitely want to kind of explore a little bit further. Looks like our guy might have had something to say. That smell again. The damp is even stronger in here. Alright, hopefully we'll find out what that weird smell is. Check the barrels. Maybe he's putting dead bodies in barrels. You never know. I kind of wish he could look down. Hammer. Paintbrush. I hear water. Let me kind of look at this Riverport Police police line. Do not cross. Maybe there's something there. What on earth is that? It looks important. The police have searched here. I wonder if Catherine was with them. We get a little bit more view of his little office there. Oh, seems to open the window up top there. We'll open them, maybe, or maybe not. Our guy symbolizes it's damp. I don't want, you know, there's no reason to open up the window. Let's not open it. I'm a little worried that I took the hanger because now he's going to know someone took the hanger. Which is going to be a problem. Windscreen replacement. Now, what's this, then? Hmm. Right company, great, I should say. At least he has a wheelchair accessible office over here, though. Chains rattling, apparently. There's Harold Levy's office. Okay, another room over there we can explore. More motor oil, nothing really important with this. We'll check them all though, you never know. I think he wants us to go in there. So let's explore over here first. Oh, I hear that music. Milk bottles, nothing special there. 
Yeah, I don't think there's nothing else there that we... Well, there's something in this bowl. Hello? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm on it. He's coming in. No, 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 I'll... I'll sort it out. No, no, oh, all right, fine. Bollocks. Coming over here? Nope, but he's back, so now we gotta be careful. He's left the office door open. Now I'm stuck in here. Okay, let me see here. Harold has left the office door open. Harold works for someone called Frank and seems to be on edge around him. Magazine. Don't hear him anymore. Oh, just what I need. Oh, he locked him in here. We had to go all the way around. Okay, okay, I see what you're doing here. Oh, 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 I can't, I can't drive. Okay, another can, nothing special, cigarettes. He sure does like these ovation cigarettes. That might come in handy later on. Oh, this is definitely the car that Theo dumped the rug into. Charlotte, please don't be inside. Alrighty, so signed in 1.15 p.m. Worked on by T. McKee. Signed out. Vehicle make KP. Vehicle model val Valiant. Register number HDNA. Replaced windscreen wiper, replacement for the front tires, replacement front bumper, replacement 18 volt car battery. See what he has to say about that. There's a battery left in the car boot. It's on the house apparently. Spare left in boot as requested. Headlight bulb, full valet include boot and upholstery. Wax and polish service. We did our best, but the car looks like it could do with a re repaint. We can offer a range of colors, oil change, it costs six hours, total cost eighteen dollars and twelve cents or pounds. Checks to be made out to W Levy and Sons LTD. Mr. Chatterton, we're very sorry that the car was in for longer than expected, but we had to wait on an oil delivery, even though they got oil all over the place. Must have been in a bad way. Okay. Oh yep, look, there she is. I wouldn't trust you as far as I could throw you. Now, what's this then? Four, five, two, six. We have that down here? We do. Perfect. I hate when it doesn't write the numbers down, so I have to remember them. Theo has repaired the car that I saw him put the rolled up rug into. Nothing there. Yeah, I think we're good there. Try to avoid the chain. Can't avoid it to save my life. Nothing important. Motor oil. Yeah, they got motor oil everywhere in here. Temper lead. Sure. Don't know if it's useful, but I'll take it. Let me do a little turn here. Just kind of see what's over here. Never mind. Dead in. Okay, nothing there. Oh. Now what do we have here? Yeah, this is something weird. Okay. These all seem to be powered from here. Find a way to restore the power to the shutters. 
If the shutters aren't working, check the basement. The fuse seems to be playing up. Nope. Just trying to see if anything happens. Not really, but there's a problem with the basement. You maybe do an external, get a car battery. Got some oil on it, typical. Not bad. Could we maybe, uh, Okay, so we can't do nothing there, unfortunately. Okay. Ah! Oh, dear God. I must be doing something right. I hope so. Oh, something chattered. Let's see what that did, hopefully. Oh, there's some stair or yeah, steps there, but we definitely can't use that. Okay, so unfortunately we don't have the key and we don't have the anything to like Break that lock, unfortunately. Let's see, is there anything here that we can do? Not really. Terrible time kind of seeing. Theo was fixing this car this morning. It's the one he put the rug into. Is she still inside? I doubt she's inside, but that might be why he wants the key. And making a mess. He has to be careful. Someone's probably going to come in here and look at that glass and be like, hmm, that's strange. Oil and toll. I must be doing something with oils here. Hmm, nothing to do with Charlotte May. More water. We can't look down, so nothing there. See if there's anything over here. Okay, let's go back over here because there's really nothing else. Ah, uh, come on. Hmm. Somehow I didn't pick this up. And there's the key. Wow. I was just so bad at that. <laughs> but all right. Well, we're going to stop there today since we passed the 30 minute mark. In the next one, we're going to check the car's trunk, see what's in there, and then hopefully be able to progress, get the shutters open, and figure out what's in his office.